Welcome to episode three of Behind the Shine. We are here today with Lucas and me, Julia. Um, and we're going to be talking about a few controversial topics today, mm -hmm. maybe a little fringe concepts. Yeah. Um, we're actually talking about the difference between porn and porn. <laughs> Instagram's gonna love this post for <laughs> sure. Bleep it out. Every single time yeah, we yeah, say yeah. it. Yeah. Just say corn from corn. now on. Corn is porn. Just know that. Corn is corn. Um, it's funny because my older brother is such a jerk. You know, like you wouldn't you wouldn't have an older brother if they weren't mean to you. Exactly. So um, it's a running joke in my family that he'll be like, Julia, you think mom's proud of you? <laughs> You think mom's proud of you that you shoot porn? And I'm always like, shut up, Jay. I don't shoot porn. And he's like, yeah, okay. That's what everybody says to me. How's that porn job going? <laughs> Good. It's, it's great. Yeah. I mean, how do you even respond I to that? I don't. <laughs> it's not worth it. I, I've, I, in my early days, I tried to break that down yeah. and explain to people... And now I'm just like, okay, whatever. Yeah. But I it am going to break it, it down and explain it for you guys. That's what we're doing. Deal. So what would you say the biggest, like, misconception and, like, the biggest differences when it comes to the reality of what we do and, like, what I mean, we shoot compared to? Being here and shooting here isn't very, like, sexualized. No. Yeah. I mean, that's basically cut and dry with that yeah like it's a lot more goofy uh a lot more like freeing or like open man but if you could say that <laughs> you, you could say that the other way i think the biggest difference is that porn in general is produced for this is gonna get weird but it's produced for men usually right for the for the satisfaction of a man. Fair. And even in the last few years, you've seen a lot more content come out that is more realistic. But early on, porn porn is not real. Like, <laughs> it's not it's not real. That's not real life. So Your pizza delivery guy doesn't oh show up with his God. dick in the box. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Mine no. always does. Uh, <laughs> I'd rather have my pizza without the dick. <laughs> Different kind of that's, sausage. That's not like that. Not like that. So I feel like when women come here, what they're wanting to create is something that they feel good about, something that they are proud of, a representation of their body, yeah. a representation of their sexuality that feels genuine to who they are. And not necessarily the male gaze. Yeah. Gotcha. This is not for someone to pleasure themselves off of. Right, it's right. It's to look at and to appreciate as a piece of artwork Fair. and not as something that you're, like, jerking off to. <laughs> I mean, you might, but, like, it's not... It's not... The creation process is different. Yeah. Also, like nudity right americans have this weird view about nudity that nudity equals sexuality if you're naked you want to have sex mm -hmm. but like in europe that's not how it's treated yeah or like i mean we could dive deep into that all the way from like kids how yeah you're not allowed to wear a strapless dress or a strap dress uh at school because you'll distract the boys oh that's disgusting. crazy. That's crazy. We, I've had several conversations about the dress code with my kids' private school. They I love like... me up there. Just love me. <laughs> but yeah, that's it's really yeah, broken yeah, yeah. from the from the beginning up. All I'm saying is that in Europe, like things are viewed much differently. Nudity is just nudity. And it's not this permission that women want to be sexualized. Like the fact that there's nude beaches and there's thing yeah. you can openly breastfeed your babies and no one's having like shock and awe over it. And then here, any time that a female is dressed more revealing or wearing 
something that's considered lingerie, then she mm. she wants to have sex. Yeah. When really that's that's not the case. Yeah. Consent is key. Yeah. <laughs> Very much so. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I would say, you know, wrapping it back around to the difference is that this is an experience that's supposed to be empowering to women and having them feel empowered by their sexuality yeah. instead of being sexualized. Yeah. No matter how blurred the so, lines can be. So what do you think about like porn? What is... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's a place for porn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a place for porn. And, like, I think it can be used in a negative way if people have, like, a porn addiction yeah, or yeah, yeah. they allow that to come in between their relationship. But I also know ways that it can be fun and exciting and yeah. a normal part of Anything healthy like people's a, relationships. Anything within moderation. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we do have some clients that are in the porn industry yeah. we do and there's no judgment here yeah. like there's no this client gets treated differently than that client it's an even playing field yeah. and the reason that they're coming here to shoot with us is not because they want to create porn yeah exactly they're coming here because they want to create something different than that yeah they'll go somewhere else for that yeah they don't they know that what I'm going to create for them is not something that they could use for that. Right. It's something they could use for social media, yeah, something yeah. that is safer. But we also, porn, the porn industry is not what it used to be 10 years ago. Yeah, 100%. And COVID really changed a lot of that. The game. The game is way different now. Yeah. It's, you know, OnlyFans is really what dominates. Yeah. And... You can almost be like your own agent. Yeah, you're uh, you're more of a content creator. Mm -hmm. Again, no judgment. Like whatever those women choose yeah. to do with their bodies, so be it. I get tons of inquiries about erotica. Yeah. Which if you don't Especially know what erotica with... is, that's just the next level of taking things from a level where it's implied mm -hmm. to taking it where it is real. And, and I don't shoot erotica. That's just, that's a line for me. Yeah. And that's the diving into couples and like couple sessions. Yeah. And I shoot a lot of couples. Yeah. We, and it's something that I actually really enjoy shooting. Yeah. You do well with posing couples. Like I would have never done couples had I had not come into here because I mean like normal engagement stuff, those are pretty easy, but like uh, getting more like intimate. in touch. Yeah. yeah. Intimate. I think it keeps a lot of boudoir photographers from doing it Couples. because they're intimidated by it. They're like, ooh, I can pose one person, but posing two of them. And then what if something happens or what if, you yeah. know, they do something I don't want them to do. And so. you have to handle the vibe of two extra people, too. Yeah. That energy expend yeah, yeah, is yeah. a lot more when it's <laughs> when it's two humans yeah. in the studio. Absolutely. So for sure. Sometimes I bring Maven just for that. Yeah. Maven is my friend. Emotional she, support dog. One of them that I have. She is an emotional support dog. She'll, she does kind of break the ice though. Like yeah. it gives me a little bit of a break if she'll entertain she'll him. Entertain. Well, yeah. She entertains. She, I mean, the lady has to get her hair and makeup done. That's, you know, some time. Yeah. Do they, do the guys always show up same time or sometimes they come Most in Most of the time. That's how we prep them to do it because mm. it allows me to have time to break down their anxiety. Yeah. And really for the guys, even though their part of the shoot is so much less important than yeah. hers, I hate to say that, but it is, um, they have more anxiety because they want to make sure that they perform for her and like get, yeah. usually and it's her. they have her. no idea what they're getting into. They usually. don't. Yeah. They usually let her do the research. Yeah. Now that's not always true. Yeah. Sometimes I have guys that they're the ones that contact me. They're the ones that set up the shoot mm -hmm, and they true. kind of are the ones that did spearhead the it. Yeah. yeah. And did the research. 
Yeah, I mean, um, like tomorrow I have a photo shoot with Shay. Oh, and I wore my ring today. Look at you. So proud. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, and I have no idea what we're doing. I have no clue. No clue, it's but like Shay set it up. You're good. Guy. I'll just be there. But that way, if they're here early, then I can talk to them. We can start to like get to know them a little bit, and yeah. then they chill out. Yeah, absolutely. They chill out. They, I mean, maybe they have a glass of champagne or, or a glass of scotch that. or yeah. something. Sometimes they'll bring their own alcohol, and by the time she's done in hair and makeup, they're like, "Oh, okay, Julia." You know what's not an scary. issue though? These dudes, y'all need to start bringing some plain black underwear. Just buy some. <laughs> With you don't need something with logos all over it. Just don't bring that no. puma or across the rim or under the Calvin armor. Klein. I guess you could probably roll with those. I maybe. love the Calvins. Yeah, just because they you know, have a name to them. But. I mean, it's just like a classic look, yeah. but it still can be somewhat distracting yeah, yeah, in yeah. the photo shoot aspect. Mm -hmm. True. But yes, you know what we haven't done like a couple with uh, like matching Calvins. That would be pretty. That cute. would be cute. I would Should love, I? personally, I was like, <laughs> uh, personally, I would love to do that. Yeah. Oh, there we go. We'll show y'all. <laughs> what about me? He's always down. Yeah. He'll, he'll do it. But, yeah, it, I think the worst ones we had were, like, super patterned yeah, with yeah, yeah. the Under Armour band. Yeah, yeah, I was band. like, I can't do anything with that. Mm -hmm. You're going commando today. Yeah. That's happening. But rules in the studio when it comes to couples, I think that's a question I get all the time is like, do they have sex? Like, do they try to like make it happen? And it never does. Yeah. It never does because over the years, I mean, obviously I've been doing this for almost 10 years, I set boundaries yeah. so that everyone is clear about what the expectations are. And honestly, most of the time it makes people feel better better yeah. because they don't feel weird that, like yeah. there's some weird expectation that that's what i'm Need wanting to yeah. them to do in order for their pictures to be good yeah, yeah, yeah no no we're good we're good we have had some couples that wanted to yeah i get emails yeah. still that are like can we yeah do something more yeah, and yeah, i'm yeah. always like please explain what more means yeah just <laughs> Spit it out. <laughs> I'm like, if you want to have a phone consultation so you can tell me what that means, mm -hmm. we need to do that because I never want to enter the session not being on the same page. Yeah. Not, never. Never, ever, ever. So uh, my general rule in the studio is that males do not get naked. Yeah. Um, I feel like it alleviates pressure because there's some logistical things that are going to happen during your shoot. Like, yeah, yeah. Wh we're not... I don't want there to be any shame wrapped around that. Like, the guys are going to get hard. Like, yeah. I would think you were weird if you didn't... Get bricked up. Yeah, like, yeah. it's going to happen. You're touching all over your girlfriend or your wife. Like, yeah, that's going to happen. Yeah. Unless but you if get, you're... like, crazy stage fright, and then you're shaming yourself for that. Right, and yeah. then you're nervous about that. Yeah. So I just take that piece off the table altogether. Hey, mm -hmm. you're just going to keep your boxers on. You're just going to keep your shorts on. Cool. Yeah. You don't have to get naked. She yeah. can get naked if she wants to. Full nudity for the females. Yeah, yeah. And we always uh, give you a little time in between, you know? <laughs> yeah. We're going <laughs> to change yeah, outfits. Yeah, change outfits. We're going to walk away. They usually kind of wait a little bit take to get breather. out of their position. <laughs> yeah, like just take a breather. There's, I mean, there's time. There's mm. no rush yeah. to like jump to the next thing and you're trying to take a deep breath <laughs> yeah super super normal thing to happen super normal yeah. and yeah it just makes everybody feel more comfortable yeah, that yeah. way so a lot can be implied without having to be naked yeah. and the whole point for me about couple sessions is capturing their connection right. their energy like why are you them. here <laughs> Why are you here the as chemistry. a couple? What what did you want to get out of this? Obviously, you guys really like each other. Yeah. You want to like celebrate your relationship. Cool. Let's capture the energy and not yeah. necessarily you guys doing it. 
the vibe. Your cell phone works great for that. If you want to get a little Amazon tripod, mm. set that up in your bedroom. That's a you thing. Yep. That's not a me thing. The own thing. Lots That's of people do it. Get thing. a little ring light. You're set. Just you're good. <laughs> I can I can send you the links. These for iPhones. What you need. They are great. Unreal. They're great. It's fun. Great. Have fun with that at home. But that's not, you don't need to do that here. What did our grandparents do, you know? <laughs> Just rubbing everyone out to your mind. They had to, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I don't want to know, actually. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting because this is such like a digital day and age, right? Yeah. We have so much like content at our fingertips yeah our poor children honestly yeah that would now we could dive into like uh like confidentiality because like starting oh, from the beginning perfect. of like the the age of <clears throat> of social media or anything like that everybody was so paranoid about their like nudies getting leaked i mean but what now that, there's so many nudies that 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 netflix show what was uh, that <laughs> i don't and know it but like it was honestly girls, so cringy like it was so relax cringe. I watched it, and the whole time I was like, okay, yeah, so yeah. your titties are on the internet. Yeah. I do you, remember, and, and it was because it was around like 2011 that that happened to her on the Netflix special. And I remember that being like a big deal. When huge. Like girls, they get their nudies leaked. We had, in my high school, we had this, uh, it's, uh, some nozzles that had like a hard drive of like, they were like collecting everybody's nudies. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's... It's interesting. I I know that some people still feel like that, yeah. right? And I I don't mean to be callous or like mm. crude about it, but I'm like sometimes my clients will be very serious about their confidentiality and yeah. I take it really seriously Especially also. Especially because their career whatever. It's their career, the it's be. their job, it, it, it's 90% their kids. is it's the It's their career. decision. Yeah. At the end of the fucking day. Exactly. Like that is what you choose to do with your body, and mm -hmm. I'm here to respect it. Yeah. But on the flip side, I don't know if it's because I've been doing this so long. I sometimes meet it with a little bit of humor because I'm like, girl, you know that people can just Google up anybody, anybody, or not even specifics, just titties, and Google will throw you five Hundreds, million sets yeah. of titties so i'm always like why is it that they feel like somebody is just dying to get nudies. their photos in mm -hmm. lingerie most of the time not even yeah, yeah. nude so i just think it's funny that people have that like Reservation, feeling yeah. they have that feeling like they're gonna even if they release their photos i don't ever post anything with nudity yeah. right Instagram already hates me, so mm -hmm. I don't blur anything. I just stay away from it. And I yeah. tell my clients that. Only reason I'll ever um, use a client's photos that are nude is if it's an industry-specific contest or competition. Right. And I will contact them and say, hey, mm -hmm. can I use this photo? I feel like this image could potentially yeah. win this. And yeah. a lot of times, I mean, not to pat myself on the back, but yeah, I've, I've won a lot yeah. of things. There, well, there was one that we had that I remember, you know, it's, every once in a while you get that one shot that you're like, damn, that's a good shot. Yeah. And you like strive for that all the time. Yeah, that was money. That was like a shot that could nipples, win some things. So. Eat, but yeah. Yeah. Nipple. So we can't use it. So it's like they're scared even to put it. Yeah. Open it for Instagram, even though it's lingerie, because they're like, somebody's going to see it. Mm -hmm. Somebody's going to know it's me. Yes, I 100% always respect it. But Absolutely. I just think it's funny that in this day and age where there's access to whatever you want, things that you probably don't want, yeah. that still people have that innate feeling mm -hmm. like their stuff is going to be seen by somebody that yeah. it's going to. I'm glad we're past the like traumatizing ones, though, that were. So it was like early in the internet stage, so like two girls, one cup, that kind oh of thing. God. Oh, <laughs> that God. That we're kind of past that, you know, oh, like there's God. more of just that one out there. So that's fine. You know? Like whoever oh, fetishes God. that is, it's yeah. there. <laughs> they just knock it out. It's done. It's over. The Pain Olympics. Oh, my God. Oh, God, Lou. <laughs> yeah. The only thing is like even this younger generation, they're going to have it a lot 
it's going to be different for them. Yeah, they share absolutely. content different than what we do, yeah. which I think is maybe part of the reason that our clientele is a little bit more mature because this younger generation is really comfortable with their cell phones. Yeah. Like they really just yeah, because they grew up with do it. the most with them. So they don't always see the need for like the professional mm -hmm. aspect of it because they're like, well, I can do that. I will say like, so I'll they can't. scroll through some of these uh, like kids, Gen Z, Gen A, their Instagram posts are so cool, honestly, because they're taking pictures of just like things that like capture the moment that like the mm -hmm. essence of the, like, it'll be just junk around and you're like, well, I mean, you can put together everything that's going on in that day just from that image. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's really pretty cool. cool. Yeah. Yeah. I'm never a hater though of like the next generation. So. No. Everybody. Kids these yeah. days. <laughs> Relax. Uh, Relax. <laughs> That's what everybody said about Remember us. Remember the other too, day when, the generation you, after when that. you told me I wasn't a millennial? Yeah, I'm because too old. you're old. I am I'm still a millennial. <laughs> no. I think I'm at the cusp, but I'm still in it. I'm you are definitely. Uh, I need you to watch what you say, sir. <laughs> what is it? Is it you're a Gen 40. X. Yeah, you're a uh, you're a baby boomer. I you, okay. Now you're just on drugs right now. <laughs> no, literally, I am not a boomer. What year were you born? Eighty three. Yes, absolutely. Oh my God, we're looking it up. Yeah. <laughs> After this, we're looking it up. I'll put the clip in. <laughs> when I'm right. If you're not. <laughs> Cause I'm at the beginning of millennial or like right in the middle. You don't have to rub it in. It's like 87 probably. It's the same thing with Ava. Ava is one the youngest, of my makeup artists yeah, the and she's the artist. youngest one on the team. She's 21. 21. Is she 21? Yeah, she yeah. is. Yeah. She just turned 21, but. <laughs> we haven't got drinks with Ava yet. We need to. Yeah, that's weird. Bring the baby along. <laughs> She, uh, we had this conversation the other day because we were talking, somehow we got on the topic of having our nipples pierced. She just got her nipples pierced. And I was like, oh yeah, I used to have my nipples pierced. And uh, I was like, but that was a long time ago. And she was like, yeah, you were getting your nipples pierced and I was being born. And I was like. <laughs> and she said it so quick. Oh. Oh my god oh my god and then you're you not do wrong. the math and it's right you're yeah. not wrong i was like oh god yeah, 20 years ago when i was up. 18. ava shut up <laughs> <laughs> i was like oh wow thank you for that yeah. thank you for that i don't know i'm not one of those people that's like super weird about my age though yeah. i feel very confident and comfortable where i'm at and I'm a much better human at 40 than I was at 30, so I just feel like it's just getting better at this point. Better and better. I'm getting smarter. Still looking good. Still looking good? My kids are getting older. Your dad is clutch. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's been good. The kid's getting good. older is fun. Having healthier relationships, mm -hmm. it's all good. Sometimes all the rough stuff gets you to where you're more grateful and you're more appreciative for yeah. what you have so oh absolutely it's all in the grind yeah not for you and shay though because you've just been perfect since the beginning so. not perfect <laughs> absolutely not perfect but you know, uh we try you know it's important yeah it's part yeah. of the balance too like in past relationships even the couple sessions have been a topic of um not not like a fight obviously because yeah. this is my job and i've never let that totally be in there but it definitely has been tense before where people don't understand why i would be shooting couples or what does that mean like or somebody you were with yeah <laughs> what why are you acting like you don't already know i didn't know that yeah yeah that was the conversation several times like just when you don't have trust in a no, relationship. Julie, we did not talk about that. Oh my God. That's crazy. Yeah. If you if you don't trust the person you're with, then this could be an unhealthy environment. This yeah. could be a situation where yeah, something could so happen. <laughs> but if 
my partner just lets their mind run with them, yeah, I mean, I'm sure that could go some places. Yeah, but you, at the end of the day, out, trust is so important to know that like that's not who I am. That's not the that's not anything about the business that I run here. Yeah, but I can't imagine like coming to work and thinking that like it be caused worried about some that. problems for me. Yeah. <laughs> it definitely caused some problems, Lucas. So, but that's not where we are now. Yeah, it's a Dang. whole different story. I think that's good. Yeah, you want to like wrap? Is there a way we can kind of? I feel like I, I mean, hate it when we just like. See, I don't. No, because I stopped fucking watching anyways. Like I'm already over <laughs> yeah. it. I'm done with you guys. I'd never watch anybody's outro. I'm just like, all right, I'm done. I'm not here to fucking listen to your outro. <laughs> we we just out asked, here. Do y'all like outros? Yeah, nobody cares. Nobody watched that. I think as soon as they're like getting winding down, I'm like, all right, what's the next one? Someone the other day was like, well, you know that people are only watching the snippets on Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> I, was like, I think it's good to have the long form, but I don't. I like, was like, oh. I guess so. In case somebody's bored, you know. They want to listen to the whole thing. Yeah. I mean, I hope people do eventually. Yeah. Listen to the whole thing. Yeah, once but you start rolling. If you if you yeah. just get the snippets, then I guess you Thank get you. the snippets. Yeah. You're Thank welcome. you regardless. Yeah. yeah, I'm here for it. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in to Behind the Shine, episode three. Catch you later.